Hi everyone, it's Taylor here, and I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this set of cards. I'll be giving this to my mom so that she can send these out to her own friends. I'm using elements from the Happy Hex kit, which starts with the Happy Hex mini slim sized background stamp. We have the Happy Hex add-ons for the clear stamps to stamp the patterns and different sentiments within that background. And then if you want to personalize your cards, we have the Typewriter Alpha. It's a clear stamp set and you can use any of those letters to monogram the note cards. I'll also be using the Mini Slim Belly Band die and the Happy Hex dies along with a Mini Slim clear card box to package it all up. For my inks I have Oreo and Versamark for embossing with my white embossing powder. I also have my Embelly Jelly Pick and Place tool and for adhesives I'll be using my Tombow Mono Multi Scotch adhesive and my one half inch foam tape roll. So I'm going to start with the small dies from that Happy Hex die set and several different colors of cardstock. I have fruit punch, guava, candy corn, pineapple, pea pod, confetti cake, and jelly donut. And I'm going to cut that out, I think I do four times for each of the colors. And once I have all of these little hexagons, then I can use them to place within the backgrounds that we're going to stamp. My small sidekick machine made this really easy to do just right on my desktop. I highly recommend the sidekick if you want a small die cut machine that doesn't take up a lot of space on your desktop. So now that I have all of those cut out, I'm going to move them to the top and begin my stamping. I have that happy hex background that I'm setting up in the Misty. I'm going to ink that first with Oreo and place it down onto the grid paper of my Misty. Then I'm going to take my card base. We now have mini slim card bases that are top folding and I place that down over the top of the background stamp so that I can see exactly where it's centered and stamped all six of the card bases. Now I'm taking my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue and I placed a dot of glue in the center of each hexagon so that I can take my pick and place tool and easily make a rainbow order out of each of the card bases. After finishing that step for all six card bases, I'm going to take the clear stamp set, the Happy Hex add-ons, and I'm going to stamp some patterns onto those small colored hexagons. I'm using my Oreo ink to stamp these and I decided to make each of the cards just a little bit different. So I'm doing polka dots on some and stripes on some. I think I will grab a heart sometime. Here comes the heart. And I'm just choosing certain hexagons to stamp within. So I'm not stamping all of them. You certainly could, but this gives a little bit more whimsical, unexpected look by just choosing to stamp a few of them with the pattern. Here I'm stamping the hexagon within the hexagon and then I'll finish off with the flower. This step is so quick and easy and it really adds a lot of interest to these cards. Since I am giving this set of note cards away, I wanted to create several sentiments so that the recipient, in this case my mom, can choose which sentiment she wants to use on the cards. So I'm stamping the hexagons with several of the same sentiment. I believe I did two of each sentiment included in the set and I die cut those with the larger of the hexagons that are included in that happy hex coordinating set. They do size perfectly to fit within the opening on the card base and so I'm adding a piece of foam so that she can choose which sentiment she wants to use. I'm packaging all the sentiments in one of our tiny glassine bags so that I can put those together with the card bases and the coordinating envelopes when I'm ready to put my gift box together. Next I'm going to stamp the coordinating envelope seals with her initial. My mom's name is Linda so I'm going to use the L. Stazon works best for stamping onto these envelope seals. They are a little bit of a slippery material so not just any ink will work and I would recommend using Stazon. After finishing that I'm going to package those in one of the tiny glassine bags as well so she has her whole little kit ready for her. Now I have that mini slim card box that these fit into and if you wanted to you could even give your recipient some stamps to place on their envelopes when they're ready to mail. To decorate the outside of the mini slim card box I have the mini slim belly band and that is sized perfectly to fit around the outside of that mini slim clear card box. I cut the piece from Oreo cardstock and you can see it has those impressed lines exactly where it's meant to fold around the front and back of the box. 
Before I adhere it to the box, I am stamping the belly band with the hexagon outline along with her initial L and embossing that with the white embossing powder. Then I can fold those on the impress lines and easily glue the front and back of the belly band together so that it wraps perfectly around that box and just creates that little bit of extra detail for a perfectly put together gift set. Now I did have to add just a little bit of twine because I can't leave anything alone. So if you want a little something extra, I think the black and white twine looks really cute tied in a bow across the front of my little gift set. I just love how this turned out and I think this would be an awesome gift for anyone who doesn't make cards to be able to send some handmade love to their own friends and family. Thanks for tuning in and you can find all of the elements of our Happy Hex kit at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.